Gold's price action was defined by major volatility this week. Gold Comex futures touched a new record high, the banking sector troubles intensified, markets dissected Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell's messaging, and Friday's stronger-than-expected U.S. employment report weighed on gold. Here's a look at Kiko's top three stories of the week. At number three, let's talk about gold's new record highs. Comex gold prices reached a new all-time high of 2085. This came after the Federal Reserve raised rates by another 25 basis points, but signaled a potential pause in June. The price rally accelerated after new banking fears came to light, which questioned the Fed's chair's statement that the banking system remains sound and resilient. In the meantime, analysts tell Kitco they see more upside potential for gold, with prices moving to $2,100 later this year. At number two, there is a new U.S. debt ceiling deadline. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen says the U.S. could default by June 1st if the debt ceiling is not raised. This is earlier than previous estimates. So far, talks are at an impasse. RBC Wealth Management describes this year's political and economic backdrop as one of the most challenging. RBC rules out a default scenario for this year, but it does fear that the United States is just a few negotiation cycles away from resorting to a legal loophole to avoid a default. One such option is minting a $1 trillion platinum coin. But that is the worst case scenario, aside from a default, of course. It triggers a repricing in risk assets and loss of investor confidence. This particular creative solution is based on the broad language used in the law that dictates the mintage of coins. It potentially authorizes the Treasury Secretary to mint any denomination platinum coin to fund the government. And coming in at number one, Ray Dalio says the US and China are on the brink of war. In the LinkedIn post, Bridgewater's founder Ray Dalio explains that the two nations are beyond the ability to talk and are close to a sanctions war or a military conflict. And in the next 18 months, it's especially risky because the US embarks on its 2024 election season. Dalai is also calling on both countries to agree to specific rules if a war breaks out to contain the conflict. Things like agreeing not to kill each other's troops, not to fight on each other's land, and not to use nuclear weapons. That's a look at our top three stories of the week. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and for more headlines, check out Kitco.com.